Hey YouTube, today we're going to go over some very basic post-production editing for your GoPro videos, especially the videos you take underwater. You know, whether that be diving, snorkeling, scuba diving, fishing, or filming your kids in the pool, uh, the basic concept will apply. The software I'm going to be using um, is iMovie, mainly because it comes standard on every Mac, and I think it's pretty accessible and it's pretty easy for beginners. Uh, but the editing techniques in this video can be applied with almost any entry-level software, so like Windows Movie Maker if you have a PC, uh, GoPro Studio, which is free, um, etc. So what we're covering today is uh, called white balance. Uh, white balance is the process of removing unrealistic color cast uh, from your photos or videos. Now why is that important? The, the main reason being you don't want to have a green tint or a blue tint over everything in your video. If you're swimming in clear water, you want clear video and white balance helps that. Uh, you're essentially going to tell the camera what is white and the software will correct the light of everything around. So take a look at this Stingray for example. Uh, I took the white balance off and you can see the video is just completely green tint. Um, this is about 30 to 40 feet deep, uh, the Stingray is. So you start to lose a lot of that color. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to the top here uh, in iMovie. You see where it says either enhance uh, or adjust. Enhance is kind of like a useless thing in my opinion, but uh, you want to click on where it says adjust and that's where you kind of get the features for white balance. And you'll get the uh, the little box on the left there which will give you the white balance, which is going to give you like a little dropper thing. You essentially want to drop that down on something that's white, tan, something along those lines. And when you do that, uh, basically iMovie or whatever software you're using should correct the, the color around it. It kind of gives you more of that feel that it's, um, you know, you're in the sand and, and whatnot. Here's another clip of me uh, diving. Now the white balance is already on, so let's turn the white balance off. You can see how much different it looks. <clears throat> there it is. You can see the uh, the green, the greenish blue tint over everything. So um, obviously we want to correct this, this image with white balance. So uh, again, click on the white balance. You'll have the dropper. Now you can drop this anywhere, but you can kind of get a different effect depending on where you drop it. Like if you put it on the rocks, kind of gives you a, a little different of effect than if you put it on like the skin or whatnot. Um, you kind of just kind of have to click around and find which one works best for you. So uh, let's click the skin and then that looks pretty good. So um, <clears throat> you mess around with it and see which one looks the best. You essentially just want to click around so you get to the, the, the most realistic looking view. Again, with the same uh, the same deal. That this is me, uh, you know, coming up. Uh, the shot looks really clear. So let's turn the white balance off, and you can kind of see. Uh, there it is. This is the the raw footage. So you know, it looks really green. Um, it was pretty clear that day, but it still gives you that green effect. So let's use, use the white balance dropper, click on it, everything turns blue and clear. You can kind of see a lot more color correction, um, and the shot just looks way better. And one more time, just for effect, you'll turn the white balance off. Um, this is my friend Ashley diving. You can see when the white balance gets off this one, it just looks really, really green. Um, incredibly green. In fact, this is one of the most dramatic shots that I had to change whenever I was making the video. So uh, we'll turn the white balance on, drop it on Ashley's skin. Kind of lets the software know that everything else around her needs to be corrected based off that. And there you go. You get a little bit of red in that video, but overall it looks a lot better. So. That about wraps up the video for today, but um, I'm going to leave you guys with some side-by-side -side comparison clips I put together so you can kind of get a better feel for the white balance and whatnot. So thanks for watching.